Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a chart of accounts. So first of all, what is a chart of accounts? And it is essentially the structural framework for any business accounting system. And the best analogy is a filing system. So if you wanted to, you could simply dump all your documents into one giant file in your filing cabinet or a file folder in your computer. But of course, if you did this, you would likely have a hard time locating your documents. So alternatively, what you would do is create a series of folders based on an organization system that makes sense for you and your business. This type of structure makes it much easier and much more efficient to find what you're looking for. The more precise your system, the, the more easily you'll be able to access your documents. Similarly, a chart of accounts is a type of categorization arrangement for your financial data. So you put all each transaction into a category with accounting, it's double entry, so it goes into at least two categories. And with the, the ultimate goal of getting financial reports that are meaningful for your business. So while each chart of accounts has commonalities, and some specific conventions that should be followed ultimately there isn't there's no one size fits all so it is a good idea at to, to spend some time thinking about what you want in your chart of accounts at the beginning of your business but this can evolve over time you are not stuck with a chart of accounts that you start with you can continually update it and change it when setting up your chart of accounts, it is very important to keep the structure of an accounting system in mind. So the basic structure of any accounting system involves a balance sheet and a profit and loss statement. Within the balance sheet, you have assets, which are items that you own liabilities which are amounts that you owe to third parties and equity which are your contributions to the business as well as uh, retained profit or loss from the inception of your business within the profit and loss statement you have sales which are revenues from all sources cost of goods sold which are the direct costs of manufacturing your good or, or creating your service. And then you have expenses, which are generally operating expenses, such as salaries, rent, office supplies, etc. And then finally, other income and expenses, which are items that don't directly relate to your business. And they could include investment revenue or write down of assets. One final thing to note is that assets on the balance sheet always equal to liabilities and equity, which is why it's called the balance sheet, because it always balances. So that's all for part one. Check out part two, where we will talk about working with the chart of accounts in the context of QuickBooks Online and how to set them up and other features that you should know. Thanks for listening. Bye.